Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Magnus Carlsen and Maxim Vasilagrav. This is a game from the Magnus Carlsen Invitational Rapid Tournament 2020. Carlsen had white pieces and he started with d4. Lagrau played d5, c4, the queen's gambit, c6, the slav defense. Maybe. e3, knight to f6, knight to c3, bishop to f5, white to move. c takes on d5 is a very popular move in this position. And after black plays c takes on d5, white plays queen to b3. Carlsen played knight to f3, e6, white to move, knight to h4, and this is the most played move, white is going after the black light squared bishop. Black light squared bishop thinks that life is not fair to him. If he stays on c8, he is too passive. If he gets out of the pawn chain, he gets dead. Bishop to e4, f3, bishop to g6, white to move. Queen to b3 is the most played move. Bishop to d2, no rush to take on g6. Bishop to e7, knight takes on g6, h takes on g6, queen to b3, queen to c7, threatening rook takes pawn on h2. How to defend the pawn? What would you do? Quite often, players with white pieces play g3. Magnus Carlsen castled queenside, promising an exciting game. Black to move, d takes on c4. Rook takes on h2 has a tiny downside. Then white plays rook takes rook, and after queen takes rook, queen takes on b7. Back to our game. So we have d takes on c4. Bishop takes on c4 b5, bishop to e2, a6, intending c5. Knight to e4. White is ahead in the development. Knight takes on e4, f takes on e4, c5, king to b1, knight to c6, white to move. e5 was split. d5 is also promising. If knight to e5, d takes on a6. This position favors white. Back to our game. Carlsen played e5, clearing the diagonal for his bishop. He is intending bishop to f3. c takes on d4. Bishop to f3, pinning the knight, rook to c8, rook to c1, queen to d7. Queen to c2, knight to a7, it is white to move. What is the best square for the white queen? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Please pause and find the best move for white. Did you pause? What did you find? I will show you the move in a slow motion. Queen to c8. Taking the rook. Can you see the reason for the queen sacrifice? Knight takes queen and now bishop to c6, pinning the black queen. Knight to b6, bishop takes on d7, white won the exchange. King takes bishop, e takes on d4, knight to d5, white to move. Perhaps some players would play h3. Carlsen played h4, not worried about losing the pawn. That is a great strategy. Rook takes on h4, rook takes rook, bishop takes rook. Black won a pawn, but now has no rooks. And the white rook is now the star of the show. And now white has a plan to bring his rook behind the black pawn on the a-file. But how to do that? c6, c7 and c8 squares are defended. What would you do? Magnus Carlsen played rook to h1, attacking the bishop, 
bishop to e7, rook to h7, threatening rook takes pawn on g7. Bishop to f8, defending the pawn. Rook to h8, king to e7, king to c2, f6, pawn takes pawn check, g takes on f6. White played the move and black resigned and the move is... What would you do? Carlsen played rook to h7 check. Lagrave resigned if king goes to say e8, rook to a7. Easily winning white. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.